So right here they're calling out a bogey at 10 o'clock high to mission control. So let's just pay attention. They have an unidentified flying object. All the time, but there is a big tumbling. It just seems to be tagging along with us. Right here, uh, they were trying to focus their camera in on the space station, so when they swung it over to the object, it would be in focus with no fumbling around, the, and the transmission cut. Now we have mission control coming on, talking about they're losing this, they're losing all these different telemetries, and it wasn't all at once. They didn't lose all telemetry all at once. It didn't just explode in one big bang. There was multiple explosions throughout the ship because things were failing uh, s uh, seconds apart from each other and when we get the tele when we're getting telemetry we can tell down to the nanosecond what happened right up until the point where the image uh, until where the telemetry stops so let's listen to everything that's being said here and I want you to really pay attention to this video guys because this is the type of video that I'm talking about that meets all my criteria to tell me that this is a 100% legitimate video Bye, Max. Go. We just lost uh, tire pressure on left outboard and left inboard, both tires. FYI, I've just lost four separate uh, temperature transducers on the left side of the vehicle, uh, hydraulic return temperatures. Four high return temps? To the left outboard and left inboard elevons. Okay, is there anything common to them, DSC or MDM or anything? And you're telling me you lost them all at exactly the same time? No, right? not exactly. They were within probably four or five seconds of each other. Okay. Where are those? Where is that instrumentation located? They're, all the, four of them are located in the uh, aft part of the left wing, right in front of the elevons, elevon actuators. And there okay. is no commonality. No commonality. And there's no commonality between all these tire pressure instrumentations and the hydraulic return instrumentations? Uh, no, sir, there's not. We've also lost the uh, nose gear down talk back and the right main gear down talk back. Nose gear and right main gear down talk back? Yes, sir. And flight ECOM? ECOM. I've got four temperature sensors on the bottom line data that are all scale low. Columbia. So here's where I start to have a problem with some of this video, guys, because I'm going to show you a picture right here. This is STS-107 on takeoff uh, for that mission. Now, we're looking at the left side of the shuttle, and if you pay attention, you look where it says United States, and we see the flag. We see the United States flag, and then we see United States. Now, after United States, we do not see anything. It's just blank white. There's no logo there, no nothing. In the video, we have a NASA logo there. Now you're going to ask me, how do you know you're looking at the right part of the craft? Well, I'm going to show you right now. In this picture, we have the flag and then United States. On the takeoff picture, we have the flag, we have United States. How do I know that that matches the left side of the craft? Because on the right side of the craft, as seen in this picture on a previous landing, we have United States, then we have the flag. It's reversed, guys. So I know for a fact that we're looking at the left side of a shuttlecraft. And I know for a fact that the flag on the left side of the shuttlecraft indicates to me that what we're seeing on the left side of our screen is going towards the front of the craft and the right side of the screen would be the back of the craft. Either way that we look at it, I can find no NASA logo on STS-107 in any of the official photos. Is that, uh, is that a deal breaker? 
not really, but it is something to think about, guys. It's something to really, really think about when we're looking at this footage. As real and as convincing as it looks, we have to keep this into consideration. Houston, UHF comm check. Columbia, Houston, UHF comm check. I'm uh, Charlie Hobart calling uh, Columbia on UHF frequency as it approaches uh, the Merritt Island tracking station range in Florida. Communications uh, with Columbia were lost at about 8 a.m. Central Time, about uh, 10, 10 minutes ago. This is Mission Control Houston. Any debris that is located in the vicinity of the north central Texas area that uh, may be related to the shuttle contingency should be reported to local law enforcement who will then uh, report to NASA. It should be avoided. Uh, debris could be potentially hazardous due to toxic substances that are used as propellants on the space shuttle. Flight controllers here are securing all information and notes and data pertinent to the scheduled descent and landing of the shuttle today as part of contingency procedures. Search and rescue teams in the Dallas Fort Worth Columbia, area UHF have been alerted. Again, any debris that is located in the north central Texas vicinity that may be related to the space shuttle contingency should be reported to local law enforcement authorities and should be avoided 